tweets and uh, see how things work out. Um, so. Quite a lot of people still showing up. see here if this thing's still recording and it is so 18 minutes so we got 12 minutes of recording time left so uh, let's see here uh, let's see what else we can uh, say um, so yeah we'll just repeat I think what I said earlier we're protesting against the fact that uh, CBC journalists including some female CBC journalists such as Carol Off, such as Ainsley McClellan, unfortunately have spread misinformation, disinformation. Uh, I won't say they've lied themselves, uh, but they've allowed Sue Montgomery, Montreal Unitarian uh, Sue Montgomery, to brazenly lie about Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse cover up and denial of Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse on CBC Daybreak, on as it happens. And as if that wasn't bad enough, uh, they've refused to correct the situation. You know, when, when you are told, hey, you, you, you just spread false information to the Canadian public, including some outright lies, uh, some, of the mis some of the misinformation wasn't outright lies, it was just misleading information, you know misleading half-truths, you know, like you tell the truth but it's only half the truth and, and it actually doesn't, uh, you know, basically misleads people by telling them uh, part of the truth but not all of it. Uh, but Sue Montgomery outright lied on both CBC Daybreak and on uh, As It Happens. And I, while I won't say that uh, Hayes and McClellan lied and I won't say that Carol Off lied, they did in their own words, certainly Carol Off anyway, Yo, know, because basically I, I think you know, Carol Off did a pre-interview with Sue Montgomery. So she was basically fed misinformation before going on air. And so based on what Sue Montgomery told her before going on air, Carol Off made some statements that were basically false or highly misleading, but she wasn't aware necessarily that it was false. But when it is brought to your attention, well, guess what? it was false and you really need to correct the situation well then you should correct it but uh, so far neither Carol Loft nor Ainsley McClellan uh, nor any other CBC journalist uh, to say nothing of CBC news editors uh, and, and producers of uh, CBC Daybreak and CBC As It Happened have done anything to correct the situation and as if that wasn't bad enough neither has the Ombudsman for the CBC, uh, Jack Nagler, or Nadler, I think his name is. You know, I, I made a serious effort. You know, I gave, uh, as it happens, at Daybreak, plenty of opportunity to correct the situation, but when they didn't, I filed a complaint with the CBC Ombudsman, uh, and he just basically dismissed it. He, he refused to do anything. Um, that's not over. I, I think I may contact Jack Nadler or I think that's his name, but it could be off a bit. I think it's Nagler or Nagler, um, and I think his first name Jack, but it could be something else. Anyway, CBC Ombudsman. You know, I'm not going to write back to him right now because we're in the middle of an election. Uh, I've basically got a couple of weeks worth of election. I'm sure he's busy. I'm sure he's like overwhelmed uh, with complaints in terms of uh, stuff that CBC's aired in terms of the election. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'm not going to waste my time contacting him right now, uh, but I'm going to give him one, op one more opportunity to properly investigate my uh, complaint about the misinformation and outright lies that were spread to the Canadian public on CBC Daybreak and CBC as it happens, but I'll wait until after the election. Uh, in fact, it'll be interesting to see 
what the outcome of the election is. It'll be interesting to see who is the prime minister and who are the new uh, cabinet ministers and who are the representatives. Uh, because believe me, I will be talking to government officials about disinformation and lies spread on not only CBC uh, but other mainstream Canadian media. You know, the government is bailing out mainstream media uh, and they're feeding bullshit and lies to the public. You know, they're basically giving the mainstream media lots and lots of money and yet, you know, the, the mainstream media is, is misleading the Canadian public with, with bullshit and lies. I'm not saying it's all bullshit and lies, but a certain amount of bullshit and outright lies gets sent to Canadians via mainstream media, and they know it. They know it. You know, it's, it's one thing to, you know, mistakenly misinform the public. It's another thing to knowingly and willfully mislead the public, and believe me, that's happening. So, uh, let's just see here. <clears throat> yeah, so 23 minutes and 26 seconds. So we're just about done. Just about done here. I think pretty well most of the... Uh, <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm protesting. I'm a little man. I'm shooting video. I'm taking a video, it's going to go on YouTube, and yes, you're going to be in it. <laughs> you don't mind too much, but <laughs> you'll be in the background. You'll, you might be a star. <laughs> you might become a viral, a viral YouTube video. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, uh, so I think we're pretty well done here. Um, so uh, I'm just going to uh, check the uh, time here, but I think our protest is pretty well wrapped up for today, tonight, and actually there's another event that I want to check out. So let's see here. Yeah, 24 minutes, 22 seconds, I think we're done, we're going to wrap this up and uh, call it a night. There's another event I want to check out.